Hello beautiful people, welcome back, I'm Anna. Today we are doing four things that I've never done. We stopped to get some Starbucks because somebody couldn't make it to the farm without breakfast. So I got... The farm? Yeah. We're, we're going apple picking, we're going to farm. So I got a venti iced chai tea latte with soy milk because I don't drink coffee and I don't drink whole milk, so I'm literally like a nightmare Take customer. Right <laughs> to this Drive, then turn right onto Monona no. Drive. At least I'm not like Take super right like. You're not a nightmare Drive, customer, then turn left you're still pretty Broadway. straightforward. If, at least I'm not like three pumps of vanilla, whatever, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm not as specific as most people are. Brock's order is a white wrap. White chocolate frappuccino? Is that what it is? White mocha. Yeah, it's just a white chocolate mocha. Gotcha. Sometimes I get it iced. I think we should go with this one. It it's looks still pretty healthy. The, it's still on the vine. Okay. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, I've never pipped pumpkins like this. I guess what it would mean is that it's not dying. It doesn't start dying until you take it off the vine, right? I, I think. Okay. Let's get down. Alright, I don't know how to pull this off. I don't want to screw it up. Yay! This place is huge. Has a lot more people than we expected. I'm not a huge fan of that one. That doesn't look good. This is what we got so far. This two right here. Brock is very picky when it comes to his pumpkins. I don't know if you guys can see him. You see that? Right there, it's Brock. Definitely wanted a white one and a tiny one because I think they're very cute. Now we're looking for like a bigger one that we can actually carve. We found our big pumpkin. So we were actually done, and now Brock decided that the pumpkin we ended up going with is not good enough for carving, so he went back there. He's looking for a better carving pumpkin. So, can we talk about what just happened? Turn right onto Whalen Road. The plan was to get pumpkins, put them in the car so that we wouldn't have to drag them around the entire thing and then go apple picking. And we're in the line to go apple picking and we're listening to the lady just go over like the very the, like the types of apples that they have, which ones are sweeter, which ones are more bitter. And she says that it's 20 bucks for letting you go apple picking and giving you, handing you a plastic bag, right? That was the last ba bag size so she, they had. So what I remember her saying is, uh, all we have left for today are the 10 pound bags or something. She said it would be 20 bucks. And we both looked at each other and were like, okay, wait a minute. Just watched yeah. inside where they had $3 yeah. bags of apples that look the same size. And you're telling me I'm about to go do the work myself to get- And pay seven times as much. pay seven times the price? So I'm not about to go apple picking just for the aesthetic. So we just went to the little like store they had and got two bags of apples, apple cider, apple and peach crisp mix and these donuts that look really good for 40 bucks all so that's that's ridiculous it's also crazy because we got pumpkins and we yeah. got like we got four pumpkins and they're all pretty big and in total they added up to 20 bucks so we're baking an apple crisp we've actually done this before but it's our first time doing something this full E in a place that they actually is full. Because we did this in Florida with 90 degree weather. So now I'm just peeling the apples and cutting them, cubing them like this. Peeled apples look wrong. Doesn't this look wrong? I wish I could show you guys our front lawn because it's covered in leaves. But I also don't want to show the outside of my house. I feel like that's borderline dangerous.
Great job. How long does it go in the oven for? About 35 minutes. Happy Thursday everybody! Today is 49 degrees. I feel like to the average person here in Wisconsin that's great temperature. To me that's cold. So I am going to try to work my fireplace. And Brock has taught me before, I think he gave me like a little crash course, but most of the time he's the one that does it, but he's in a work meeting right now. So I'm gonna try to do it by myself and hopefully I don't burn down the house. So if I remember correctly, like slowly inch it into the frame. <laughs> if I remember correctly, step one, it's always checking whether the vent that goes into the chimney, it's open or not. So it's open. But the vent is open. Now, from what I remember from my lesson with my boyfriend on how to get a fireplace working, I need like a base, a foundation. We have some fire starters, which are like these really tiny sticks right here. And normally you would just lay them on the bottom so that the really big pieces of wood on top can catch fire when these ones just bring the fire up. So I'm gonna use some paper and some fire starters to like get, get it going and then I'm gonna add fire on top. It's pretty much like a Jenga tower of some sort. This is my favorite part. The sound's just really satisfying. Brock has told me that you will just want a bunch of like long strands like this that you can throw on the bottom. Back home, I would have never imagined someday I'd be doing this. I did say to make sure that the paper I was throwing in is like regular paper, like just newspaper paper, not glossy, like not magazine paper, because apparently glossy paper takes longer to catch fire. I'm supposed to clean the fireplace, but we cleaned it last time and I don't think you need to clean it every time you use it. Don't come for me, I clearly don't know what I'm doing, but I think it looks okay, like there's not a lot of ash on the bottom. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. So I have a decent amount of paper now. And from what I can tell, paper normally you wanna put it on this bottom one and then the fire starter on top and then the locks. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Okay, so we have sort of a foundation and my hand is already disgusting. We have a foundation, then we need some fire starters right here. Maybe some small sticks like this one as well in there. That's from our backyard. There's an old log from our previous fire wish. I'm just going to leave right there. So I don't think I need to take it out. So little sticks like this one. That one fell right through it. And I don't know if this is cheating, but I normally use this to light up the paper and let that help just like slowly get it all in there hopefully some of the fire starter on this level catches it from the paper So I sheeted and I'm adding paper up here to help the logs get some, hopefully, maybe, maybe that way the fire starters catch some fire. I think the center is catching fire under this log. We have some sort of success right here. So there's little sticks right there. 
There's some fire starter right there that's catching fire. Maybe. Hopefully. I am massively failing today, but we have to get this done because otherwise I'm gonna freeze during this winter and I really wanna learn how to do this. I'm moving around the wood and just like positioning it better. Okay, that's a better sound. It's looking better. Maybe. Okay, so it hasn't died in the first five minutes like it always does for me. It's actually lasted beyond just the paper. So I think we did it. I think we made a fire. And now I need to close this just for safety. In case something like pops off. It happens sometimes. Oh my god. I think I actually did it. I think I actually made the fireplace work. That's a first. <laughs> oh, I feel so nice. I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here, guys. I have to clean this fireplace. It looks awful. But if you stuck all the way to the end, thank you guys so much for watching. I have so much to learn. I've never lived in a cold climate before and it's definitely a learning process. But little by little, I think I, I'll get a hang of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're, you're all staying safe and warm. <laughs> Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. I love you all. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really does help my channel do better. And it really just let me, lets me know what you guys want to see. I love you all. Mwah.